is Crafty Kids Studio. And today we're going to show you how to paint on a canvas with a stencil and... Rainbow colors! Okay, so we're making this a group painting and we have one canvas and we're kind of making it like a game. We're going to pass it around and each of us is going to like dab a color. So I'm going to start with green. I'm just going to start dabbing, you know, each rainbow. And then I'll pass it. And then she's going to get a different color. Start dabbing some too. All right, let's pass. And then looks pretty cool. It's Mardi Gras color. It is Mardi Gras colors. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna switch colors. So I'm gonna pick blue this time. All right, I'm gonna just dab it. Uh, no, it's kind of cool because it's actually mixing with some of the colors. It actually looks like green. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get some more blue on it. There we go. Mix it with that one. Okay. All right, let's switch. Oh. <laughs> So she's picking like a lime green color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dab it like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Just dab no, a bunch on the same spot. Just dab it at the time. Okay, pass it. Oh no! <laughs> All right, she's picking pink. Make it thicker. Put a bunch more on the pink. Okay, looks cool because it's starting to turn into like a purplish kind of color. Mm -hmm. Like light purple. Okay. Try to get on the white spots too, though. Fill in the white space. There we go. All right. Okay, let's go back to me. Let's see what color should I pick. Pick an orange, I guess. Um, let's go. Is it looking good, Jenny Kill? Yeah, I don't know what my color now is getting. <laughs> mm, maybe. Wow, that looks pretty cool. You did all the colors. Whoa, look at that. It's getting yellow. That looks cool. Well, you just dabbed over it. <laughs> it was so pretty. Yay. Okay, let's get some more colorful colors. Maybe. Let's do green, green now. Right now. Yeah, get some pink in there. Green purple. Yeah. We need purple. Oh, yeah, we need some purple. Let's get some purple. Purple. Get the white space. It looks here. like an army color. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's most of Dab, the Dab, come on. Okay, so now you gotta let it dry. Okay, so it just finished drying. And if you have a hard time drying it, you can use a blow dryer just to speed it up. But just be careful. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a stencil. And we've got a bird stencil. And we're gonna put it on there like this. We're gonna tape it on there. So let's show you the taping. Okay, so just, we're going to use some clear tape, and we're going to tape on the sides, like that, and just to go around the edges, there we go. Other side. Around the edge, okay. Okay. I'm going to do some extra ones just in case. Okay, one more. And there it is. Alright, so now it's stuck on there so that we can paint it. There it is. Okay, so now we're going to use black paint to cover the stencil. So, just get some, not too much. And then all you're going to do is just dab it, like... Just 
just dab over it. And we're getting some on the stencil, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. it's gonna look cool once we take it off the bird's gonna look like a shadow kind of all black on the color whole surface or background okay so now we are gonna peel off the tape and pick up the stencil and see if our bird looks good just try to be careful that um, you don't tear off any of your paint before Do. It's not that big of a deal because you can just go over it again. But try to be careful. Can't wait to see what it looks like. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's see what it looks like. No. Okay. Wait one second. Let's get this stuff off. So after you take off your stencil, it might be a little rough. It might like bleed through or whatever. And so it might be rough on the edges. And what you can do is you just get some paint and touch it up to make it look more smooth. Okay? And then, again, you can dry it with a blow dryer. Okay? And this is how ours turned out. Whoa. Cool! I hope you like our video. Please subscribe. And check out our other videos on our channel. Bye! Bye.